Hello, good evening, and welcome to Close Attention. Today we're going to be doing a simplify problem. Remember, when we are simplifying, we simplify without the use of a calculator. Now, let us quickly uh, let us quickly start with our problem. Now, what you do when you are given a problem like this one, first of all, you can see that here you have got 2 and then you have got 4 and 8 at the bottom. So what you need to do is to make sure that we have a prime basis. You must make sure that you have prime basis or prime numbers. Let's just say prime basis because we're going to be focusing on our base, our base here. We have got 2 and 4 and 8. What are prime basis? Prime, ba uh, prime basis or a prime number is any number that can only be divided by itself and one and don't have reminders. So in this case, two is our prime base here, but four is not our prime base because four can be divided by two and then we will get two and it can also be divided by four and one. So it's not a prime number. Eight as well is not a prime number because it can be divided by four and two and eight itself and one. But two can only be divided by two and one so that it doesn't uh, leave reminders. So let us first go and make sure that we have prime basis. So here, this is our prime base at, of two. So we're going to make sure that we come and change here and make sure that we have a prime base as well. Obviously, we're going to have to make all the bases two so that they can be prime bases. They can only be divided by two and one. Okay, now, how do we do this? We all know the exponential laws, right? Now, let us quickly go. We're going to go and write um, two. We're going to write it like it is. This is equal to two to the power of n plus 2 multiply by we are changing here we want to have a prime base a prime number i've explained is any number that can only be divided by itself and one okay then we gave an example of a two two can only be divided by it uh, by a itself and one and leave no reminders okay so we're going to make sure that we've got a two here then when we've got 2 here, obviously, um, in order to get 4, we will say this is going to be 2 to the power of 2 because we are changing 4 so that we can have a prime base. A prime base is a number that can only be divided by itself and 1 and leave no reminders, okay? Now, because here we've got 2 to the power of 2, remember we were having n plus 1. So obviously, when we get 2 at the top there, 2 is going to multiply what we had first, which is n plus 1. So you're going to have to put them in bracket first. Then you're going to have to say 2 to the power of 2 into n plus 1. Into n plus 1. Okay, where do we get 2? 2 we uh, get 2 here because 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Why did we change 4 to become 2 here? So that we can have a prime base. Okay, we've got prime base there of 2 and 2. So we divide all here. We divide uh, all here by a to the, to the power n minus 1. Obviously here as well, we're going to have to change and have a prime base of 2. So now when we change here, 2 to the power 2 is 4, obviously 2 to the power 3 is going to be our 8. So now we're going to come and say, instead of 8, we're going to write 2 to the power of 3. Why? So that we can have a, a prime base. A prime base so that we can only divide it by itself, which is 2 and 1, and leave no remainders. Okay? Now remember, 8, it was 8 to the power n minus 1 here. So obviously when we come and say 2 to the power 3, which is 8, we still have here, we still have n minus 1 okay we still have n minus 1 so what do we do obviously you know when we want to remove the brackets here we come and multiply everything which is on the outside with everything which is in the inside so it's gonna come and say 2 multiply by n 2 multiply by 1 okay let's do it like this 
let's continue now we're gonna come and say our 2 which is a prime base to the power n plus 2 multiply by 2 which is our prime base 2 multiply by n we're gonna have our 2 n 2 multiplied by 1 we're gonna have our positive 2 okay because it's 2 multiplied by positive 1 okay let us continue we are done at the top now we go to the bottom part then we come and say we've got our 2 here now it is gonna be 3 multiplied by n it's gonna be 3 n 3 multiplied by negative 1 is gonna be negative 3 now why do we have a negative 3 here uh, whereas here we got a positive 2 this is simple because here we were having n minus 1 which is a negative 1 any positive number multiplied by a negative number is a negative number that is why we say 3 multiplied by negative 1 we got negative 3 we are done with our problem if you can see let us uh, come here and um, I do it like this you're gonna have to come and write um, one to limit confusion we can say we write uh, two numbers the first one is gonna be having the alphabet at the top uh, which is n or we can write everything here on top of the one prime base number um, we're gonna come and say let us start with n because here we have got two at the top and n plus two now we're gonna come and say we are grouping the like terms right we are grouping the like terms uh we're gonna come and say we have two to the power of n here now before we come to two let us group the like terms we are now dealing with exponents because we are done with basis we have changed our basis to become prime our uh, prime base right now we are dealing with exponents now when we are dealing with exponents when we are dealing with exponents we must make sure that we group the like terms uh, on exponent side only now we're going to start with n which is positive n again because here we are multiplying it is 2 multiplied by 2 so obviously when we multiply we add the exponents when we are adding we're going to say n plus 2n because there is the sign here of multiplication now we're gonna come and say n plus 2n right now we are not done we started with n and left 2 now we came to 2n and left 2 now we come to the bottom part where we have our 3n now when we have 3n remember I said that when we are multiplying bases we add the exponents but when we are dividing we subtract right now we're gonna come and say um let me just say not sub uh, subtract but if there is a division line here any number which comes from the bottom part and jumps at the a division sign to go to the top will change a sign right if it's a positive number at the bottom when it goes up when we are adding it here it's gonna go and become a negative when it's a positive come um, uh, becomes negative when it's a negative becomes a positive okay now because we've got a positive three n here now we're gonna put it here at the top obviously it's gonna change sign because of a division sign here then it's gonna change and become a negative three n now we are done with this one we're coming to the numbers let us because we started with n we added n here and uh, 2n here and then negative 3n becomes here because of a positive sign at the bottom or um, because of a division line when we take it to the top it changes a sign and becomes a negative okay now we are coming here uh, to numbers now it's two it's a positive two it doesn't change the sign because they are all at the top we only change signs from the numbers which are coming from the bottom part okay now it's gonna be positive 2 here now we're gonna see positive 2 uh, because we are multiplying we add the exponents right now we're gonna see 2 plus 2 because they are all positive 
is 2 plus 2. Now we come to the bottom part. At the bottom part, we've got negative 3. So because of a division uh, sign here, the negative 3 is going to change and becomes what? Positive. Remember, every time when, uh, when you are doing this, when you are adding or subtracting, make sure that um, a, 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 the number which is at the bottom part here, when it jumps, go up, we don't... Um, take it as it is we change the sign because it was negative now it's going to be positive three so if it was a positive three here it was going to be negative three now let us check what we have we have come to our final answer now we're gonna come and say n plus 2n is gonna be 3n obviously 3n minus 3n is gonna be zero okay so you're gonna come and say 2 to the power of 0 then we've got 2 plus 2 which is 4 plus 3 which is 7 0 plus 7 obviously this is equal to 2 to the power of 7 now you are done here you can just use your calculator to find the answer of 2 to the power of 7 but when you are here you are done but you need to calculate to get the answer of 2 to the power of seven thank you so much guys for watching on our next um on our next video we're gonna make sure that we talk about uh, we use uh, the simplify this kind of a uh, problem with the different signs so that you can understand with the different numbers and then we make sure that we change them into um prime basis prime basis okay thank you guys don't forget to follow us on our youtube channel which is close attention and also follow us on our facebook page which is close attention our whatsapp number is 073 thank you so much